Use Skoda Rapid Space Back Review. A full used buyer's guide on the Skoda Rapid Space Back focusing on the Rapid Space Back MK1, 2014 date. Verdict. The Rapid Space Back isn't inspiring, but it does provide an easy ownership experience and its strong value, too, although the entry level models are best avoided. The interior is functional rather than pleasing, even in top spec form the car doesn't look distinctive inside or out. However, practicality is excellent, and Skoda has some of the best dealers around. You also get a lot for your money, top spec space backs have plenty of luxuries as standard. While some owners find the ride firm, if you don't and you can find a really good range topper, you should be able to get years of trouble-free motoring out of it. It's coming up to three decades since Skoda was absorbed into the Volkswagen empire, and while the cars are no longer as cheap as they were, they still offer excellent value for budget-conscious buyers. For nearly 20 years, Skoda sold large numbers of Fabia Superminis and Octavia hatchbacks and estates, but nothing in between until the arrival of the Rapid in 2012. This mid-sized hatch in turn spawned the Rapid Space back in 2014, as a more practical carry all that slotted in between the regular Rapid and the Fabia estate in terms of size and carrying capacity. A facelift Space back will soon reach UK showrooms, but how does the original car stack up as a used buy? Models covered The Skoda Rapid Space back arrived two years after the standard Rapid in 2014, and it's this model that we're focusing on in this review. Skoda Rapid Space Back, 2014 date, with an update imminent, hatch looks attempting used by. Skoda Rapid Space Back MK1. History. The Rapid Space Back was launched in the UK in January 2014. Buyers could choose between S, SE, and Elegance trim levels, an 85 bhp or 104 bhp 1.2 tsi and 120 bhp 1.4 tsi petrol engines or a 1.6 tdi diesel in 89 bhp or 104 bhp forms within weeks a green line version had arrived powered by a 1.6 tdi engine with co2 emissions of 99 g slash km a range refresh in May 2015 introduced a 1.4 TDI engine, reduced prices, and a new trim hierarchy, S, SE Tech, and SE Sport. The 1.2 TSI now came with 8.9 bhp or 109 bhp, the 1.4 TSI was boosted to 123 bhp and the 1.6 TDI to 113 bhp. The SUV-like Scout line was introduced in September 2015. Which one should I buy? Skoda's 1.2 TSI engine is fine, but the 1.4 TSI unit is usefully more muscular. The 1.4 TDI lacks refinement, and while it's got plenty of zest, real-world fuel economy is matched by the quieter and more torquey 1.6 TDI engine. The DSG dual clutch transmission is renowned for being very user friendly and it's a transmission that's easy to recommend, but such cars attract a relatively hefty premium. Entry level cars are fairly spartan but do come with aircon, powered front windows, electrically heated and adjustable door mirrors and a height adjustable driver's seat. Mid range cars add alloys, a multifunction steering wheel, navigation, DAB radio, electric rear windows plus cruise and climate control. Top spec models have a glass roof and sports seats. Alternatives to the Skoda Rapid Space Back As a small family hatchback the Space Back is up against the likes of the Ford Focus and Vauxhall Astra, both of which are plentiful, excellent value and come with a choice of engines and trims. Related to the Skoda and offering a much sharper design is the Seat Leon, this provides similar quality and reliability in a far more appealing package. The Mazda 3 is reliable, great to drive and very good value, and the Peugeot 308 is another desirable all-rounder. We'd also consider the reliable and top value Hyundai i30 and Kia CD, plus the Skoda Fabia Estate, 
which shares much with the rapid but has a larger boot. What to look for? Headlights. The factory fit headlights aren't very impressive, some owners have replaced them with brighter alternatives. Crash safety. There are two rear headrests, but three seat belts. So whoever sits in the middle has no neck support in the event of a collision. Noisy drive. Booming at speeds can be down to the parcel shelf resonating, the empty spare wheel well or the Dunlop tires. Wheel size. Wheels range from 15 to 17 inches. The largest rims deliver a firm ride, while it's not too jarring, some owners find it uncomfortable. Interior. Although the fit and finish are to typical VW standards, the Rapids cabin doesn't feel upmarket, even in top spec trim with a glass roof. But head and legroom are decent for five people. Boot space is good as well, the car offers a 415 liter capacity with the rear seats up or 1381 liters when they're folded. Running costs. Rapid space back owners can choose between fixed service intervals of 10,000 miles or 12 months, and variable, which allows up to 2 years or 18,000 miles between pit stops. The fixed services run minor, 149 pounds, intermediate, 219 pounds, minor, 149 pounds, and major, 269 pounds, the variable check UPS are pitched closer to the 269 pounds mark. Brake fluid should be renewed after 3 years, then every 2 years, at 52 pounds. DSG transmissions need the gearbox oil replaced every 40,000 miles, at 175 pounds. All engines have a timing belt that has to be replaced every four years, mileage depends on engine and build year. The job costs 385 pounds, or 485 pounds with a new water pump. Recalls There have been two recalls for the Rapid, which also affected Citigo's and Octavia's built between November 2015 and April 2016. The recall was issued in July 2016. It related to child locks for the rear doors, which could disengage. The doors would remain latched, but it was possible to open them from inside. Some 1.6 TDI additions have also been caught up in the VW Group emissions recall, Check by entering the reg of any potential buy at skoda.co.uk slash owners slash diesel info slash check hyphen your hyphen vehicle. Driver power owner satisfaction. We don't separate the space back from its rapid sibling in our driver power satisfaction survey, both came 88th in 2016. 8th for practicality and 10th for running costs are good. 69th for reliability and 77th for performance are okay. But 117th for build quality and 149th for ride quality are disappointing.